Well, welcome to Train Fest 2010. We're here with Lee English, the president of Bowser Trains. Lee's going to share with us a couple of the new things that have shipped here recently, including the new PCC car. Lee? Well, we decided that maybe we ought to do something with the great trolley drive that we've had all these years. And a partner and I have developed this beautiful plastic PCC, and it uses a traditional Bowser drive. And we think that it's a real hit. So far, it's been very attractive to many people. And we think that the color and the nostalgia of the whole thing, plus this car is actually running with two trolley poles in San Francisco today. So we were able to get real colors and real history on them. Now, what we've done in the background, you see is a poster with our new car that we've now taken and backdated with an operating trolley pole and a little bit different like package. And we will now have the historical cars for Philadelphia, Washington, Cleveland, and it's all, at, right now it's in tooling and being actively uh, produced. Now Lee, one of the things I noticed is the windows are see-through. Windows are definitely see-through. And you can't see the mechanism inside when you No, you can see the mechanism inside. This is a show model and the mechanism is not in here. Okay. Uh, so, as much as I would like to have an underfloor, it's just way too expensive and too delicate. Okay. We're trying to make a model that everyone can use. Okay. And I personally track tested our model for 350 straight hours of running. Wow. Tore it apart and I was not able to measure more than a half a thousandth of wear. That's incredible. Yeah, one of the things too you mentioned were the trolley poles. Of course, this will operate on traditional two rail track. You don't have to. It'll operate on traditional two rail track. If you put an operating pole in, there's a switch on top that allows all eight wheels to pick up and one pick up from the wire. And that's that's in this model also. Okay. So that's okay. one of the new releases that, that's out. And then uh, recently the new Trinity Spine cars. Oh yes, these have been wonderful. We've uh, reproduced the 53-foot Trinity Spine car, and we've tried to do it faithfully with a lot of very delicate detail. Um, we've molded it. It's a die-cast main center beam. It's got plastic um, detail parts. It has an extra little package of of trailer hitches so that you can put trailers or containers and it, we think it's a wonderful model. Now being die cast of course it's going to have great weight so it'll pull really well and, and track well? It, it tracks very well. The, uh, the model is simple. It's got beautiful wheels so that with the, the low center of gravity and a, and a beautiful die cast frame you shouldn't have any problem pulling a large string. And we have both the three car set, which we're showing here, plus we have one that's the five car set. Okay. And when you say three car set and five car set, that's because the, the, the center cars share the same wheels. Yes. Only the N2 cars will have more, well, only the front car has more than one wheel. Right. So three cars is just two more single cars added on. Okay. Now and so far it's been wonderfully accepted. So. We're just waiting to see. The other thing that I found really neat here on the table is the VO1000. I know you've got an, a model here that's uh, running around the table, and, and I've never heard one before. And boy, talk about sound different. Oh, I wish I could take credit for that, but that is soundtrack. It's a, it's a wonderful recording. It just seems to fit for this engine. It's, to say the least, a little odd. <laughs> it's different. The, the, uh, it's an old time sound. It, it isn't that beautiful diesel hum that we're all used to at the track at the sidings now. It, it just sounds like an old time engine. It's almost as beautiful as steam. <laughs> Now you're holding a, a really an unusual variant of the VO1000. Well, the Southern Pacific bought VO1000s and added trolley poles that did nothing except operate the the signal crossings. They did not operate on on the electrical overhead. That was the only purpose for them. They were not wired. All they did was trip the switches to operate the signals. And we think we've reproduced it very faithfully. It has been a tremendous success for us. We have already sold out after two weeks. Um, will we make more? Eh, I have a lot of things we're making. And then there are the road names of the VO1000 right now too, right? Lehigh Valleys and Western Pacifics, uh, Great Northerns. 
So we have, we have hopefully get a vast array of old time VO1000, VO660 engines. All right, well, well Lee, we certainly appreciate you taking a few minutes thank here you. at Train Fest, and thank you so much for your time. Great product, appreciate it. Thank you.